hi everyone welcome back to engineers tech hub channel so in this video we will discuss accenture debut question and answer for automation test engineer experience three to five years okay so we can move in the first question and if you are following my series you guys already know the first question they will always ask tell me about yourself see your profile is already there for you know in in, in interview right in tell me about yourself the people are doing lots of mistakes when i i was i am taking the interview you know what you have to highlight you guys are not going to speak right so first impression is your last impression i know that uh, sometime you have to prepare for the interview you are very skilled right you have a very good in the technical but the problem is if you are not doing the practice right then definitely you are not able to present your profile yourself so for the interview we have to do the practice even tell me about yourself if you are a fresher if you are experienced or if you are a, any any profile this question why they are asking because you guys are able to present yourself what is your current profile second thing depend upon mostly time the interviewer having the very less time in the very less time you have to present yourself right so people are doing the mistake they are telling about the story so you have to not tell about your story you have to highlight your name that is fine if you want you can include otherwise you can exclude also no problem but better we can tell our name so just i will give you some brief how to present yourself okay might be your sentence formation is different but what you have to highlight right so this is mohit so i having a total 10 year of experience in software industry so about my relevant experience so uh, i having the around seven to eight year of experience in automation and two year in manual testing about my you know a skill set so right you have to highlight your a skill set here right so i am good in core java selenium web driver cucumber api testing great jenkins i have also some knowledge of cloud like aws right so you have to highlight your skill set fine then you can come in the short way what is your roles and responsibility in your current project so this profile is for completely automation right so again in automation we have a two types of the roles and responsibility one is your framework development level and one is your a script development level second thing you are maintaining the framework you are writing the script right so I will just give you some brief if you are designing the framework, understanding the client requirement and you have to give first POC, right? While after developing the framework, you have to give the POC. Once your POC will approve, then we can start to do the, our a script development. So we have a separate video about of roles and responsibility. You can refer it. Okay. So this is what you have to highlight, guys. So I think I missed the organization name. So okay so you can add your organization name in your interview your name your current organization your relevant experience your skill set okay you can add your primary or secondary skill set suppose you are expertise in uh, java and selenium and you are also learning some new skills you can add it you can say i am in the learning phase so this is my secondary skills okay now your current project right so if you want uh, you can highlight in which domain you are working so that is also good your roles and responsibility tell me about yourself crisp and clear in short period of time we'll do the practice definitely you are able to explain and whatever the point i have mentioned you have to highlight those points okay if there something you are missing and definitely interviewer will ask you cross questions you should not worry about it. next question they have asked the can you explain your framework definitely so what happens see people the working in the automation they are doing daily uh, work on the framework right they can explain easily sometimes we are not doing the practice we are not able to explain uh, clearly the people who is searching the job and they are trying to switch manual to automation and many of them they are not doing the practice blindly they are going for the interview if you are not able to explain the framework then you are not a working right you don't have experience at all in your automation profile so you guys can understand right if you don't have experience if you don't have a knowledge of the framework 
do not start your interview you are wasting your time okay so do hands on practice of the framework not here just i have given some overview okay so if you are learning uh, many contents are available even we are providing the live session as well so you can you guys can join my session as well okay no problem at all so i have some you know a snapshot of the framework it's not uh, completely like how almost the components will be same totally depend upon so here we have uh, some hybrid framework so here we are using page object and test ng might be the expectation is the uh, <coughs> cucumber as well so you will get many a snapshot if you have a knowledge of the cucumber and definitely you can integrate with this framework as well so you can say writing the features file step definition apart from that everything almost same okay so here we have some component like page object then we have a business library where we have a utility classes right so you can see the snapshot and you guys can just take this a snapshot as well it will be a helpful so i have used hybrid framework in my project the component we have a xml file definitely if you are using the test ng we have xml file so why we use the xml file so suppose you have to uh, do the parallel execution you have to create a some suit for smoke testing you have to create a some suit for regression testing so many uses are there i am not going inside this each component in the depth so if you have a knowledge you can explore if you don't have please start to learn test runner class then we have a generic library where we are going to develop all the utility uh, utilities suppose you have to handle how uh, a screenshot reporting part we have a utility for um, i can say selenium uh, framework like uh, selenium uh, classes interfaces how we can you guys define it suppose you are handling mouse over right so we have a method to handle the mouse over we can reuse this right so here in the helper class i have developed all, all utility for the selenium library then we have a page object so page object is also one of the most important part so we have a multiple ways to uh, develop this page object to better we can use page factory how to handle the test data one of the most challenging thing in the automation also how you guys are handling the test data so again the test data it depend upon a static and dynamic so if you have a static we have a multiple ways to handle you can handle through the excel sheet properties file xml file json file but if you have a dynamic data then you have to generate runtime unit data you can do from the java classes okay report so report is also very important so i have used here extend report a screenshot parts resources you are going to keep some file or some other data here so i'm going to keep in the resources See, these are the general component of the framework okay next question they have asked write the syntax to take the screenshot so this question guys repeated they have asked many times so i have a one a snapshot so you can see i have created one method for a screenshot so we have a one uh, interface that is called take a screenshot okay take a screenshot is your interface and you can see here we are doing some casting driver type we have converted into the take a screenshot okay so you can see here we have a two parameter i am passing for this method one is your driver and one is your file path okay then after that we have created the object of file okay no i'm not creating their object i'll tell you here we have a one more method called get a screenshot as and output type dot file here passing this parameter it will return file source and now we have to pass the destination you already took this a screenshot using this two line of the code but where you have to keep that right where you are going to keep those uh, screenshot file right so we can create a file object and here we can pass the path of this okay file utils is a class file util class is coming from apache poi remember this people are not adding this and they are getting some error and we can pass here right this source and destination and just i am calling this to take this a screenshot here you can see so this is the most frequent asked question you have to remember take a screenshot this two line three line of the code you have to remember that okay guys 
so when you are writing the code that is fine but when you are not able to explain that is the problem write a syntax to switch the alert box okay so we have a alert how to handle the alert so alert is your interface how to switch driver dot switch to dot alert inside this we have a accept method right and we have a dismiss method it will be a click on ok dismiss click on the cancel and we have a you can capture sorry you can capture the text on the alert we will use get text and we have a send keys so you can enter some value inside this text so next question they have asked how do we handle pop-up in source page so we will get a multiple pop-up guys so first i have shown you for the alert pop-up right i can say alert javascript pop-up then we have a file upload so we have a, some pop-up for the file upload while uploading the pop-up sorry files we have a file upload so we can use your send keys and we can pass here i took the snapshot also because you should know some code also while what activity you are doing right so you can pass the file path here directly we can upload the file next we have a windows pop-up so when you have a multiple windows right so this is also one pop-up we will get so again here we have a method called a driver window sorry get window get window handle it will return the main window i can say the parent window then we have a, a driver dot get window handles and here we can uh, iterate this while switching this okay so we have a separate video for that if you want you can just watch it to understand and execute the code and you have frame and frame right so if you don't know how to switch the frame so frame is also the pop-up right source pop-up so you have to switch okay so here we have a frame you know so again if you want to explore just you can watch my full series of selenium okay handling the frame so if the pop-up within the frame and iframe so we have a multiple ways to switch in the frame so first ways you can uh, you driver dot switch to dot frame using the index and you can switch by uh, id and name also and you can switch frame by web element as well okay so multiple ways we have it, this is how this is the just i have shown you one way and you can see we have a using the name id and here i have given the using the web element as well how to switch on the default uh, page so we have a driver dot switch to dot default content so this is the part one and part two will i will also upload soon so please subscribe my channel and do not miss the part two okay so we have a many more interesting questions okay so thank you so much for watching this video guys if you are new in the channel please subscribe and press bell icon see so in the next video bye bye